Out of a Jam is a nonprofit organization that develops culinary, vocational, and life skills of young adults through mentoring and compassion. And today, joining me is Paula Kaufman, their director. Good morning, Paula. Good morning. How are you? I'm great, thank you. <laughs> Good. Okay, so you started this organization eight years ago, mm -hmm. going strong and really just supporting the youth in our community. Yeah, so give it. us an overview on why you decided to start Out of a Jam. You know, Out of a Jam started because I was working at one of our local department stores and I saw young women specifically who had children, um, they were raising them on their own, they were really struggling, making a minimum wage, and their life just didn't seem like it had a lot of hope to it. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, if I could teach them something, and my happy place is the kitchen, so yeah. that's why I decided to work in the culinary field. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so do you have a background in culinary arts? No, actually I don't, and it's perfect for me to work with young people because yeah. I'm probably more like them than mm -hmm. anything. Um, struggled through high school and, and those kind of things. So, mm -hmm. you know, I try to go at a level and a pace that works for them. Yeah, yeah. and so break down the program a bit. What do they <clears> learn <throat> when they um, interact with you? Well, Out of a Jam has become a little bit more complex uh, through the eight years that we've been doing this, yeah. but we start with, with what we call our essentials program, mm -hmm. and that's where we get our kids uh, surf safe food handlers trained. Love we that. give them good basic culinary skills, knife skills, how to properly read a recipe, those kind of things. But the main thing we do during the essentials program is to make sure that they understand that they have value mm -hmm. and self-worth and that they are capable of doing so much in life. Yes, yeah. that's great. So they get certified and all of that. Mm -hmm. And so what is the age range that this program caters to? Right now our students are coming to us through the Crossing School and they range from 16 to 20. Okay. Uh, we have worked with older um, women, more mm -hmm. in the, the 20 to 40 range. Our real goal is three words, feed, nourish, and transform. Mm. And we just want to do that through the entire community. Yeah. And as we've grown, we, we've developed these different programs that mm -hmm. touch other pockets other than just the young teenagers. Right. So, yeah. yeah, so break down the other programs for us. Well, um, well the, the next program would be with our kids that come through our essentials program, they're able to work on our food truck. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of beautiful high-end catering. Okay. Uh, we work with different businesses where we supply their um, lunch rooms or break rooms with everything from salads to protein bites. Yeah. Um, then the next program we do was kind of an offshoot from COVID. Mm -hmm. We saw all this food being wasted. Mm -hmm. We knew that there were hungry people. So we have a program called Feeding Fort Wayne. Yeah. Our students actually work in that and helps them understand community service yeah. and how important that is. We make high protein low carb, loaded with vegetables, uh, ready to eat meals that mm -hmm. we freeze and those go to other small food pantries. Mm -hmm. And then our most recent program is called Feeding Fort Wayne Kids mm -hmm. and it's an after school program. Mm -hmm. You know, you just hate to think about kids falling through the cracks yes. and uh, after school programs are so needed, mm -hmm. but they need to do more than just be in a babysitting situation. Right. So we wanted them to learn about um, eating better, so some nutrition, mm -hmm. some culinary skills, and as important as anything, being a help to their own family. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a single mom, maybe it's a single dad, mm -hmm. but these kids learn to, and they make a meal, mm -hmm. they eat that meal, and they take those ingredients and the recipe home and make the same thing again at home that night or the next night. Okay, and this is specifically the um, Feed Fort Wayne Kids Feeding program. Feeding Fort Wayne Kids, so yes. So what age range can participate? Those programs are from eight to 13. Okay. And we're we're doing this at places like Bridget Grace, the Yule Wilson Center, uh, Boys and Girls, Girls clubs. Mm -hmm. So where these kids are going after yeah. school, we're, we're looking into those locations to, to really work with the ones that are already there. Give yeah. them something exciting to do. So they so they can make the food, you say, eat it, and then take it home. That's so exciting. Yeah, that they take process. a bag home of, of groceries and mm -hmm. recipes. And whether they do it that night or the next night, yeah. they can show their family what they've learned. Mm -hmm. And it's proven that if, if kids are engaged in the process of mm -hmm. choosing and preparing, they will eat the food. Right. I mean, they tell me, oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. <laughs> but once they've made it, they're like, hmm, 
hmm, that's not that bad. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> they know where it came from. And so um, how long does the program last? So like when the teens are involved um, mm -hmm. or when the kids are involved, how long is the program? The essentials program that we do with our teenagers is eight weeks. Okay. And um, these kids get three high school credits at uh -huh. the Crossing School. Then we take them for a yeah. second eight weeks mm -hmm. where... Again, they get three more high school credits, and that is actually a paid position where we pay them to come oh. and to learn for uh, three hours a day, three days a week. Yeah. And they really, they help with the Feeding Fort Wayne program. They help with any kind of prepping that we're doing for catering, mm -hmm. but it really puts them more into a job situation. Mm -hmm. The Feeding Fort Wayne Kids program is a six-week program, mm -hmm. and it's about two hours each day for one day a week for six weeks. Okay. So. Yeah. yeah, and then you mentioned the food truck. So this happens over the summer, I'm assuming? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and so the kids work on that? Yeah, or the for teams. sure. This ah. last summer, uh, I had a crew of three young boys mm -hmm. that they prepped all the food, they make all the food, They somebody takes them in the food truck, drops them at the Bar Street um, Farmer's Market, yeah. and they serve it. They deal with the front of the house, the mm -hmm. back of the house. So they're getting a lot of on-the-job experience, and yes. they love it. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. I love yeah. that because it's a different twist on just teaching youth young um, mm -hmm. and they will be prepared once they mm -hmm. are able to, you know, grow and get jobs and hopefully develop yeah. a passion for cooking. Yeah. 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 Because know? if you if you learn young, it's something that will stay with you forever. And mm -hmm. the food truck is such a great experience because not only are they cooking the food, but they're also learning how to deal with customers yes. and how to learn you know, to deal with the stress of six, seven, eight people in line mm -hmm. and, you know, trying to push food out quickly. Uh, one of our claims to fame is in the food truck, we serve our sandwiches in 60 seconds or less. Oh, wow. Because I don't like to wait. I'm yeah. a little impatient. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. So if there are youth um, that want to get involved mm -hmm. in your program, how do they go about doing so? They go to Out of a Jam, Fort Wayne, mm -hmm. all spelled out, dot com. And there's requests on there. Um, we're always looking to, to hire kids that, that really want to work, yeah. that want to be a part of learning. Mm -hmm. So they can go there and check us out. Volunteers, the same way. We always need volunteers, especially yes. for the Feeding Fort Wayne and the Feeding Fort Wayne kids, mm -hmm. because that is all just very volunteer and donation driven. Yes. So, all yeah. right. Well, thank you so much, Paula. Hey, I you're love welcome. learning about your business. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> yes. And if you would like more information about Out of a Jam, <clears throat> we'll have their website listed below, and we'll be right back.